I only hang around people who, uh, after I've spoken with them, I feel better, not worse. It's like one of my rules is- Well, I, would, I agree I, with that, but not every dog necessarily. <laughs> at, least, at least this one dog that we had was, he was in it for himself. He, he wanted to get to my grandmother's leg and that was, he lived for that leg. What, what made you want to write this book? Well, it's kind of the thing you were just talking about, the idea that, um, well, there are two things about dogs that are, dogs give us a way of talking about love mm -hmm. and they also enable us to talk about loss. Mm -hmm. um, and they're, it's funny, if we're here for any reason on the earth at all, we know we are here to love one another, but we also, it's also the thing that we're like the worst at doing. And we're also, we're also bad at talking about it. It's really, we don't have a good language for talking about love. And if you just start talking about it, people roll their eyes and want you to, to talk about something else. Um, <laughs> not me. But, you want well, to love. <laughs> well, yeah, and not me either. But I think if you talk, if you talk about dogs, there, yeah. I think for some people, it's, it's like the door opens. Portal. Yeah, it's the portal. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing about dogs is that if you, to love a dog, which is almost the same thing as owning one, it also means to lose a dog because they don't live forever. And it's, it's like the saddest thing in the world. And so um, I wanted to write about that as well. Um, so I'm a transgender woman. You've been incredibly supportive of the transgender community. I thought about writing about the time before transition mm -hmm. um, and thinking about the, the seven dogs that I owned back when I had a boyhood. And yeah. I, love, I loved the phrasing of everything. I, I just loved hearing, it was so natural when you said when I was a little boy and it, you, the, it, there was no big deal made of it. That's why I, I personally, I don't know, I just, I, you really are so wonderful at normalizing um, what's very, very difficult for so many people. Yeah, well, I think one of the things you have to do is draw a line between who you are and who you were. Mm -hmm. And even if the person that you've been is not someone um, that you can relate to, or maybe you're sad about your past, you still, you should own your past and you should make peace with your past. Yeah. So writing about dogs in Good Boy was a way of writing about, well, it's the seven stages that I had of um, boyhood, being a teenager, being a, you know, a college kid, um, being a hipster, uh, a boyfriend, uh, uh, um, a husband, a father, so all of that. And it just opened a door for me and gave me a chance to, um, to talk about the time before and how it connected to who I am now. Also, the thing about dogs is that they're really funny. They do stuff that we would like to do. Yeah. <laughs> Dingus. We don't get to do. Dingus they can let themselves dogs. anywhere. <laughs> Dingus nearly got called Klepto. He's had, that's his second name. You know, I started working on this book like four years ago. I don't even remember why I started now. But <laughs> I think, um, well, not every story um, about transgender people has to be a story about transition. I think that that's become the cliche. Yeah. And there's, there's so many different kinds of transgender lives and I wanted to kind of celebrate them. Um, I think it's also that, um, you know, I've been, I'm almost 20 years um, since transition. Now, in fact, I'm over 20 years since transition now. And um, it's my, my younger life is starting to get more and more distant. And I'm trying to, it's getting harder to remember what things were like back in the day. <laughs> so I, I wanted to, it's kind of like, I think about boyhood and manhood in, in the way that if you were an expatriate, if you if you were born somewhere else and you now you live somewhere else, kind of the way you think about the old country. I mean, I don't want to go back and live there in the old country. Like I, I like living here, but it doesn't mean I don't dream of the old country. It doesn't mean I don't think about the place where I started my life. Yeah. And to and have respect for that person. Yeah, and to make peace with to make peace with it all. Um, also, I, I think I said earlier, dogs let you talk about two things that are hard to talk about: love and loss. Um, they, we give our whole hearts to our dogs and then our hearts break because the dogs don't live forever. 
And um, I mean, what more important things are there for an artist to write about or to make music about, except for the love in your heart and how to survive sadness.